everyone and welcome to On a Different Note TV Edition. In this spinoff of my regular segment, I will introduce what I believe to be the best of television in every genre, ranging from animation, comedies, and even thrillers. Today I'm going to talk about, you guessed it, The Walking Dead. Everyone loves The Walking Dead. If you say you don't, you're a liar. Or you've never actually watched it. The really awesome thing about The Walking Dead is that it doesn't just talk about zombies, or walkers if you're a true dead fan. It shows a lot about the interactions between groups in a post-apocalyptic world. The main characters encounter multiple groups that deal with this new world in different ways, ranging from cannibals, to people who try to pretend it doesn't exist, all the way to people like Negan who think they control everyone and everything. If you want to learn more about The Walking Dead, tune in Sunday, February 12th for the mid-season premiere. That's all for this week. Join us next week for more On a Different Note. This is Amy, and welcome to this week's episode of How To's and your weekly DIYs. In this DIY, I'm going to show you how to make 3D wall art. You're going to need six pieces of paper. The first step is to fold your piece of paper in half. After you fold it in half, you need to unfold it and fold the outside folds into the middle. So after you fold your tabs into the middle, as shown, you're going to need to fold your corner tabs in to make triangles as shown in the orange lines. Once you're done with that step, you need to fold your paper diagonally across the middle square which is shown by the pink lines. Once you're done with that, you're going to need to push the two triangles in the middle square together and just fold all of your paper into the middle. And there you have your first triangle. Just continue to do this until you have all six and you can put them together however you want. And at the end of this video, I have a picture of how I arranged my papers and how I have it displayed on my wall. Thank you, and tune in next week for another DIY. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Dumb Stuff. Let's get right into it. Today we're going to be talking about Konosuba, a cool little show about goddesses and monsters and embarrassing death at the hands of fate. It's a cool little comedy about a shut-in weeb who gets booted into the afterlife trying to save a girl, but then gets booted back out into a world of magic and dragons and a demon king and, oh, Aquasama, bring me back from the afterlife on a magical adventure where I can meet my own team of adventuring misfits, like a knight who can't land an attack, or a mage who uses ridiculously hard magic that makes her so tired she can't even stand, or even a goddess so stupid she can't live on her own. Show me a world where I, a freak with mild physical abilities and terribly amazing luck, can excel in certain areas and win fights with stupid wit and dumb luck. Anyways... Konosuba is an amazing comedy with well-timed, well-structured, and often times overly complicated jokes. All the characters have unique dynamics that are perfect for their personalities. They act like real people, which is less common than you'd think. They all have goals and ambitions which aren't necessarily well-meaning or generous. Cosmo just wants to live a comfortable life. Aqua just wants to be a goddess again. Megamine just wants to blow stuff up in darkness. Well, uh... Yeah, she likes fighting, let's leave it at that. The plot doesn't do much with these characters' ambitions, but that's okay. I'd rather watch a boring plot with interesting characters than an amazing plot with cardboard cutouts. It gets a 19 out of 10 for me. It's, uh, it's funny, and uh, you should watch it. Thanks for seeing me here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, and welcome back to this week's video game segment. This week, 
Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Resident Evil 7 was released on January 24th, 2017, was developed by Capcom, and is currently available on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Microsoft Windows, all with VR support. Resident Evil 7 is your classical horror game, adventuring through a creepy house, finding some creepy things, but there are some moments that'll make you say, Really? 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 God! <laughs> really? And for those of you that want to play this game, I have to warn you about the pretty much indestructible enemies. Hey! Oh. Um. What in the... Hello? Oh, that's why they call him Daddy. 